No, you're not gonna wake her up. Yep, here we go. Deeper's not playing with her. You're gonna curl up on the pillow with Deeper. You love the snakes, huh, do you? Yeah, she do. She's a good cat. Do I love my snakes? Yes, I do. Tipper's coming back again. <laughs> yeah, Tipper being a pain in your butt. Uh-oh, don't give him a bath. He doesn't like that. No, here you go. Be nice. Don't lick Tipper's head. Tipper doesn't like that. Oh, oh you're gonna lick his back. Okay. Yeah, you're a big boy. Tipper's a big boy. You can bother Deeper. Deeper's sleeping. You gotta go. She's not playing with you. You're gonna pest her, right? Ah, uh -uh. you just found the bubbles on my screensaver. Tipper is watching my monitor. He's a good sized boy. There he is. Show me your belly. for here he comes again. No, maybe not this time. Why you Normally my snakes and my cats play together. And they sleep curled up together. It's really an odd relationship, but she's the same way with my other ball python too. Yeah. I think it's just a matter of familiarity. They acquired a natural curiosity about each other and they've always been friends since. So. That happened. You just can't leave Defer alone with that can. You? We'll go over there and get our neck and get warm again. You got your baby. And Tipper hugging you. Yeah, they're really vicious animals, can't you tell? It's amazing the people think pe the people that think that snakes just hang out waiting for somebody to walk by to strike them and attack them. That they're really that ruthless. <laughs> well, it's just funny. I'm sorry, but it's comical to think of them as that. After you've raised them and had them around you for lots and lots of years, it's just, you go, what are you doing? <laughs> Quit wrapping yourself around Deeper's head. 
She won't hurt the cat, it's just I don't want the cat getting annoyed with it because Tipper has a very strong grip, so he wouldn't hurt the cat. He's just like getting around her neck to warm up. And I just don't want her getting mad at him. But if my cat had claws, nails, I'd be a lot more concerned about their relationship, but I've never had any problems with them, really. I'm just going to take a break. Oh, he's watching my bubble with my bubbles. Longest any of my snakes, well, my smaller ones, the boas don't come out because I can't bring them out alone, but my pythons, they all come out. Once in a while I'll miss one day, but the longest they're ever in the enclosure without coming out is two days top, so. You sit there staring. What are you doing? We got a stare down going. That's pretty cool. Tipper sharing the pillow with Deeper. Deeper's like, I'm going back to sleep. You better leave me alone, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Tipper's on the pillow with Deeper. Taking a break. Crashing out. You just can't seem to leave Deeper alone today, can you? Tipper starving for attention, I guess. Here he comes again, dude. <laughs> Tipper's bugging you. Here he comes again. He's trying to get up there and curl up with her to go to sleep. My snake and my my ball pythons and my cat curl up together and sleep. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? It's up to her. Tipper's the one that has a scar on the end of his tail when I got him. The guy I got him from it was in a hurry pulling the shed off and ripped all the flesh off the end of the tail. Turn deeper again. He <laughs> bad. Why are you bothering the kitty? She's trying to sleep. Huh? Oh, you're gonna give Tipper a bath. Oh, wonderful. No, you can't go over right by the computer desk. Yeah, you can go up here, but you can't get over by the computer desk. What are you doing? Give me Tipper back. Yeah. Well, she's best friends with the snakes, oddly enough, and she loves everybody, so yeah. Aww. Tipper's gonna curl up on your neck and go to sleep. There you go. <laughs> Tipper. You're being harassed by Tipper. Oh, yeah. Tipper being a pain. And Deeper's 12 years old. She's an old cat, but she's just as sweet as she can be. Once in a while, she's not in the mood to deal with the snake, so she'll, like, gently paw at them, you know, to get them to go away, but she's usually very, very good with them, yeah. They all get equal time, and, you know, if they're both out, 
the cat gets loved and the snake gets loved. So there's no resentment and no jealousy. And so they all just get along great, actually. So yes, we do. We get along good. <laughs> Tell her what you doing that deeper's head. I'm a good girl. Yes, I am. Yep. She loves my snakes, and they love her. As much as love can be expected from an animal, but it's the same sentiment. There. 